Hi, this is Don Romans with FurnaceFilterTalk.com and I just wanted to do a video to explain about a Merv 8 filter. Is a Merv 8 filter uh, good enough? Is that is that all you need? Well, there's really a very simple way of determining that and you can ask yourself just a few simple questions. One is, uh, do you have any allergies? Uh, do you have any uh, smokers in the house? Do you have any pets? Uh, if you have any of these things or COPD or any kind of breathing issues, or if you live in a very polluted area, uh, and so you have a lot of air pollution, um, you know, those kind of things, uh, you know, will make a big difference. And a Merv 8 really will not work for that situation. You're going to need to get a higher Merv rating. And you can look at uh, my other videos and and uh, go to my blog and you'll see recommendations as to what you need, you know, based on if you have those things, you know, but typically it's going to be something like an 11, 12 or 13 uh, Merv rating. Of course, those cost more money. So that's another consideration you have to take into account is that, uh, you know, it's going to cost you, usually these things come in a six pack and you're going to pay roughly 15 to 20 dollars more for that box of filters uh, when you're buying the higher Merv rating. So you know obviously Merv 8s are less expensive. Uh, Merv 8 is really the first pleated filter on the Merv ratings. Uh, there is a 3M makes a Merv 5 but the Merv 8 you know uh, is basically the same price and so you know I, what I use is the Aerostar Merv 8 and I've just started using that recently because 3M I did use the 3M Merv 5 and they changed their design I didn't like it so I went to the Aerostar and so I'm very happy with that filter and it's it's basically the same price as the 3M Merv 5 so you know so that's really the things you got to ask if you don't have those issues and you know any of those things I mentioned you're, you're fine to use a, a uh, Merv 8 filter unless you just want, you know, cleaner air. You know, obviously if you use a Merv 13, it's going to give you, you know, less dust in your house and, you know, keep everything cleaner. But, you know, it's not a necessity. It's really more for those conditions that I mentioned. But, you know, lots of people do use them and uh, swear by them because they uh, give them less dust and, you know, keeps their furniture cleaner, things like that. It won't be no dust, but it'll it'll make a remarkable improvement. But Merv 8, you know, is a great filter. It's uh, affordable and you need to change your filters no matter what Merv rating you're using every month. Um, that's the recommended change out from most HVAC companies will tell you monthly. Filter companies will say two to three, depending on your household conditions, but in reality, you should do it every month. The one exception that I've found to that is a 3M. I did a test on their MERV 13 and I did it for three months and the pressure drop stayed really uh, in good shape, you know, and so that's the only one that I would ever recommend that you could get by. I still wouldn't say three months, but you could do two months with no problem. So uh, that's my take on the MERV 8. Um, if you want to, to you know, see the written article, I break down some comparison cost, showing you a couple brands and what it is from a Merv 8 to an 11 to a 13. But basically from the 8 to the 13, you're talking about roughly around $2 difference per filter. But you know, when you're doing six filters, that adds up. Uh, Cause you can't usually buy just one. Uh, I don't think Amazon sells anything of just one. They do have some of the Merv 13s, you can buy two. Uh, but you can't do that on the 8s or the 11s. So uh, so anyway, that's my take on the Merv 8. It's a great filter. I highly suggest using it. If you want my recommendation, it's the Aerostar Merv 8. That's the one that I would pick. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave comments. I try to answer all the comments. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks.